The world of smuggling is full of daring and inventive schemes to evade the law and bring in illegal goods across borders. From submarines loaded with cocaine to ancient artifacts hidden in chocolate bars, smugglers have tried it all to outweigh customs and authorities. In this video, we will explore 15 of the most clever and surprising smuggling attempts ever made in history. You will be amazed by the creativity and audacity of these smugglers who risked it all for a lucrative payoff. Number 15. Hollow Statues Hide Priceless Antiquities In 2012, Turkish customs officials intercepted a truck entering from Bulgaria. The truck was carrying 12 plaster statues, which seemed unremarkable at first glance. However, upon closer inspection, the officials found the statues to be unusually heavy. X-ray examination revealed an astonishing secret. The statues were hollow, ingeniously packed with dozens of ancient gold coins. The coins, dating back to Roman and Byzantine eras, were of substantial historical and monetary value. The coins were worth an estimated $1 million. The smugglers had hoped that the banality of the statues would enable the priceless antiques to cross borders undetected. However, the vigilance of customs officials thwarted a sophisticated smuggling attempt. This incident highlighted the constant threat faced by cultural heritage worldwide. Smuggling of ancient artifacts is a lucrative black market that often goes unnoticed. Smugglers are constantly coming up with new and creative ways to transport their illegal cargo. It is up to law enforcement officials to stay one step ahead of them and to protect our shared history. Number 14. A Portable Black Market Zoo – The Ingenious Reptile Suitcases In 2002, customs officers at Melbourne Airport in Australia made a startling discovery. A 24-year-old man had arrived on a flight from Bangkok with two suitcases that seemed unremarkable at first glance. However, a random luggage check revealed a shocking secret. Concealed within false bottom compartments in the suitcases were 24 critically endangered tortoises, including Indian star tortoises and Hermann's tortoises, alongside various lizard species. The man's luggage was essentially a portable black market zoo, a chilling testament to the extent of illegal wildlife trade. The technique used by the smuggler was deceptively simple but effective. The reptiles were carefully packed into socks and tape, which enabled them to survive the long flight. The false bottom compartments ensured that the reptiles would remain undetected during casual inspections. However, airport x-ray machines ultimately led to the discovery. The case drew international attention, spotlighting the severe issue of illegal wildlife trafficking. Australia, with its unique biodiversity, is particularly susceptible to such smuggling attempts. The perpetrator, who intended to profit from the sale of the reptiles, faced severe penalties under the Australian Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act of 1999. Number 13. The Shoe Bomber, a failed plot that changed airport security forever. In December 2001, Richard Reed, a British citizen and member of Al-Qaeda, attempted to detonate explosives hidden in his shoes during an American Airlines flight from Paris to Miami. Reed had hollowed out his shoes and packed them with plastic explosives. During the flight, he tried to ignite the explosive using a match, causing smoke and a peculiar smell that alerted the flight attendants and passengers. Quick thinking and courageous actions from the crew and passengers led to Reed's capture before he could detonate the explosives. Reed was arrested and charged with attempted murder and terrorism. He was sentenced to life in prison. The repercussions of this failed smuggling attempt were immediate and far-reaching. Almost overnight, checking shoes became a standard procedure at airport security checkpoints worldwide a practice still in place today. Despite the plot's failure, it highlighted a terrifying new smuggling method, forcing aviation security agencies worldwide to rethink and bolster their security procedures. Number 12. The Cocaine Cast – A Smuggling Innovation Smugglers are always looking for new and innovative ways to transport their illegal goods. In 2009, one Chilean man came up with a particularly creative scheme. He tried to smuggle nearly 5 kilograms of cocaine in a cast on his leg. The man, who was 66 years old, arrived at Barcelona's El Prat airport appearing to be an injured passenger. He had a cast on his leg and was walking with a limp. However, the customs officials at the airport were suspicious. The man seemed to be in little pain, and the cast looked peculiar. Upon further inspection, the officials discovered that the cast was not made of plaster at all. 
Instead, it was made of cocaine mixed with chemicals to give it the color and consistency of medical plaster. The cocaine was hidden in a hollow space inside the cast. In addition to the cocaine in the cast, the man was also carrying six beer cans and two hollowed-out stools filled with cocaine. In total, he was carrying approximately 10.5 kilograms of cocaine. The man was arrested and charged with drug smuggling. He was eventually sentenced to five years in prison. This case is a reminder of the lengths to which smugglers will go to transport illicit substances across borders. It is also a testament to the sharp eyes of customs officials, who are often able to spot even the most creative smuggling attempts. Number 11. Tobacco Smuggling Gone Carrots In the world of smuggling, there are no limits to the creativity of those looking to transport illegal goods across borders. One of the most audacious smuggling attempts in recent memory involved a truckload of tobacco-filled fake carrots. The smugglers had painstakingly hollowed out thousands of carrots and filled them with cut tobacco, then resealed them. The carrots, mixed in with ordinary ones in the truck, were intended to pass off as regular cargo during a cursory inspection. At first glance, the truck seemed to be carrying a simple shipment of carrots. But the eagle-eyed customs officials at the Romanian border noticed something peculiar about the shipment. The carrot's weight was inconsistent, and some looked unusual. A closer inspection revealed the audacious smuggling attempt. The officials discovered that many of the carrots were carefully crafted replicas made of orange-colored paraffin wax. The hollowed-out interiors were tightly packed with high-quality cut tobacco. In total, the smugglers had attempted to transport hundreds of kilograms of tobacco concealed within these wax carrots. The fake carrot method is a testament to the smugglers' ingenuity and creativity. They were able to capitalize on the mundane to hide their illicit cargo in plain sight. This case also highlights the important role of customs officials, whose vigilance and keen attention to detail often stand as the first and last line of defense against such creative smuggling attempts. Number 10, The Great Narcotic Submarine Adventure, A Daring Drug Smuggling Scheme In the world of drug smuggling, there are few operations as ambitious or ingenious as the Great Narcotic Submarine Adventure. In July 2019, a custom-built semi-submersible narco-submarine was intercepted by U.S. Coast Guard authorities in the eastern Pacific Ocean, carrying over 17,000 pounds of cocaine worth an estimated $232 million. This daring scheme involved the construction of a custom-built semi-submersible submarine that could travel long distances while remaining mostly submerged, reducing its radar profile to nearly nothing. The submarine was built in the heart of the Colombian jungles and was primarily constructed with fiberglass over a wood frame to decrease its magnetic signature and evade sonar and radar. Equipped with a small periscope and open-air intake pipes, it barely broke the water surface when moving. The process is so well honed that constructing one takes about three months and costs up to $1 million a sum quickly recouped given the potential haul value. The submarine was crewed by three to five individuals who underwent strict selection and training due to the life-threatening nature of their task. The submariners must be prepared for the harsh, claustrophobic environment and the potential of being captured or drowning. The vessels often lack amenities and adequate safety measures, underscoring the tremendous risks these smugglers are willing to take. The Great Narcotic Submarine Adventure came to an end when U.S. authorities detected an anomaly on the open waters and intercepted the submarine during a high-speed chase. A member of the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Monroe heroically leaped onto the moving semi-submersible and forcefully opened the hatch, apprehending the crew members. The viral video of the daring capture was lauded by U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, who praised the Coast Guard's extraordinary courage. While this particular venture was thwarted, it served to highlight the escalating complexity of international drug smuggling. In recent years, hundreds of these narco submarines have been intercepted, but the true number roaming the high seas remains unknown. Law enforcement continually adapts to these ever-evolving tactics, but the high-stakes game of cat and mouse continues a testament to human ingenuity driven by the lure of immense profit in the dark world of illicit narcotics. Number 9, A Queen Bee's Buzzing Cargo In 2007, customs officials at Frankfurt Airport in Germany made a startling discovery. A shipment of queen bees from South America had arrived, but something didn't seem right. The paperwork was inconsistent, and the officials decided to inspect the boxes further. What they found was a mind-boggling surprise. 
Among the buzzing broods, numerous small containers were cleverly hidden. They were packed with cocaine, amounting to an impressive 14 kilograms worth more than a million euros. The audacity of the smugglers was notable. They had banked on the fact that customs officers, reluctant to upset or harm the bees, would be disinclined to inspect the boxes thoroughly. Moreover, the loud buzzing could potentially deter drug-sniffing dogs. Despite these dedicated tactics, the perpetrators could not outweigh the customs officials' vigilance. The shipment was confiscated, and the smugglers were never caught. This case not only highlights the inventiveness of smugglers but also the constant need for customs officials to adapt and keep abreast of new smuggling techniques. As long as there is a demand for illegal drugs, smugglers will continue to find new and creative ways to transport them. It is up to law enforcement officials to stay one step ahead of them. Number 8. Drug-Infused Clothing – The Latest Trend in Smuggling Drug smugglers are always looking for new and innovative ways to transport their illegal goods. In recent years, one of the most popular methods has been to infuse drugs into clothing. This process involves soaking the fabric in a solution of liquid drugs, which then dries and becomes undetectable to the naked eye. The first known case of drug-infused clothing was discovered in 2012, when Spanish police intercepted a package from Chile that contained two t-shirts. The t-shirts appeared to be ordinary, but upon closer inspection, the officers noticed that they were heavier than they should have been. A lab analysis confirmed their suspicions, the t-shirts had been soaked in a solution of liquid cocaine. This discovery was a major setback for drug smugglers, as it showed that law enforcement was aware of this new method of transportation. However, it did not stop them from trying again. In the years since, there have been several other cases of drug-infused clothing being seized by authorities. In one case, a woman was caught trying to smuggle 10 kilograms of cocaine hidden in her jeans. In another case, a man was found with 5 kilograms of heroin hidden in his shirt. The use of drug-infused clothing is a clear sign that drug smugglers are constantly looking for new ways to evade law enforcement. It is also a reminder that even the most ordinary items can be used to transport illegal drugs. If you see something suspicious, say something. You could help to stop the flow of drugs into your community. Number 7. Ivory Smuggling in Plain Sight the illegal ivory trade is a major threat to elephants, with millions of animals killed each year for their tusks. In an effort to evade authorities, smugglers have devised increasingly sophisticated methods of transporting ivory across borders. One of the most ingenious smuggling techniques involves concealing ivory within shipments of timber. In 2015, Singaporean authorities intercepted a shipment of timber from Africa that was found to contain over 3.7 tons of ivory. The ivory had been carefully concealed within hollowed-out logs, which were then disguised as regular timber shipments. The smugglers had gone to great lengths to conceal the ivory, but they were ultimately undone by the vigilance of customs officials. The X-ray inspection of the shipment revealed anomalies inside several of the logs, which prompted officials to open them up and discover the hidden ivory. This incident is a stark reminder of the lengths that smugglers will go to profit from the illegal ivory trade. It also highlights the importance of vigilance and technology in combating wildlife trafficking. By using X-ray scanning technology and other inspection methods, customs officials can help to detect and intercept these illegal shipments, protecting elephants and other endangered species from the cruel ivory trade. Number 6. The Cocaine Cat, a smuggling attempt that turned heads. In 2020, the world witnessed a bizarre twist on drug smuggling when a cat was found near a prison in Panama with a pouch of drugs tied around its neck. The cat, which was stray, was suspected of being used to smuggle drugs into the prison. The pouch contained an assortment of illegal substances, including cocaine, crack, and marijuana. The authorities believed that the cat was sent to the prison with the drug-laden pouch and was likely attracted back and forth by food. However, the plan was thwarted when prison officials became suspicious of the cat's frequent visits and finally caught it for examination, revealing the concealed narcotics. This unorthodox smuggling attempt demonstrates the lengths to which criminals will go to smuggle illicit substances, even exploiting innocent animals in their operations. The cat was likely not aware of the drugs it was carrying, but it was nonetheless an unwitting participant in this illicit trade. This case further reinforces the importance of vigilance and out-of-the-box thinking in preventing and detecting smuggling attempts, 
no matter how unusual or inventive they may be. It also emphasizes the critical need for continuous efforts to fight drug trafficking in all its varied forms. Number 5. Counterfeiters' Master Plan Foiled in Colombia The art of counterfeit money printing is a dangerous game that can have a devastating impact on economies. In 2005, a group of counterfeiters in Colombia hatched an ambitious plan to flood the U.S. market with fake currency. The operation, codenamed Operation Sunset, involved the production of an estimated $41 million worth of high-quality counterfeit U.S. banknotes. The counterfeiters used sophisticated equipment and techniques to create notes that were virtually indistinguishable from the real thing. The plan was to smuggle the counterfeit money into the U.S. through a well-established network of couriers. The couriers would conceal the fake cash in a variety of ways, including magazine covers, wall paintings, and even the soles of shoes. However, the counterfeiters' plan was ultimately foiled by U.S. and Colombian law enforcement. After receiving a tip-off, authorities launched a joint investigation that resulted in the seizure of $6.1 million worth of fake notes in Bogota and $1.2 million worth in Florida. The investigation also led to the arrest of 38 people, including the masterminds of the operation. The printing press used to produce the counterfeit notes was also dismantled. The successful outcome of Operation Sunset was a major victory for law enforcement. It also served as a warning to other counterfeiters that their activities will not be tolerated. The case also highlighted the importance of international collaboration in combating smuggling. The success of Operation Sunset was due in no small part to the cooperation between U.S. and Colombian authorities. The case also underscores the need for constant innovation in banknote design. Counterfeiters are constantly finding new ways to replicate genuine currency, so it is essential that banks and governments keep one step ahead. In the wake of Operation Sunset, several countries, including the U.S., have introduced new notes with enhanced security features that are harder to replicate. This ongoing race between law enforcement and counterfeiters is a reminder that the fight against smuggling is never-ending. Number 4. The Ingenious Fuel Tank Hideaway Drug smugglers often turn to ingenious methods to hide their illicit cargo, pushing the boundaries of imagination and audacity. A striking example is a case from the U.S.-Mexico border in 2011. U.S. Border Patrol agents stopped a pickup truck for a routine inspection near the Texas border. Initially, nothing seemed out of the ordinary. However, upon closer inspection, they noticed the truck's fuel tank appeared larger than usual for that particular model. The agents decided to investigate further and discovered an elaborately constructed false compartment within the fuel tank. Concealed within were 80 bundles of marijuana, weighing around 75 kilograms in total. The drugs were wrapped in plastic and tape, presumably to protect them from the gasoline. This case highlights the length smugglers will go to transport their illicit goods, turning everyday objects into complex hiding places. The truck's fuel tank, an unlikely place for anyone to willingly reach into, made for an excellent concealment spot. However, the vigilance of the border agents ensured this ingenious attempt was thwarted, reinforcing the importance of keen observation and experience in combating smuggling. Number 3. A Pigeon Courier for Drugs In the world of smuggling, there are no limits to the creativity of those looking to transport illegal goods across borders. One of the most unusual and creative smuggling attempts in recent history involved a pigeon. In 2017, Kuwaiti customs officials spotted a pigeon flying around their building in an unusual pattern. On closer inspection, they noticed the bird had a tiny bag attached to its back. The officials managed to capture the pigeon, and upon examining the bag, they found it contained almost 200 ecstasy pills. The smugglers had likely counted on the bird's ability to cross borders undetected, bypassing regular customs checks. However, the pigeon's odd behavior and the unusual payload alerted the vigilant customs officials. This case marks a peculiar chapter in smuggling attempts, showcasing a unique blend of creativity, audacity, and the misuse of natural animal behavior. Carrier pigeons have been used for centuries to carry messages over long distances. They are known for their homing instincts, which allow them to find their way back to their loft even after being released far away. This makes them ideal for smuggling small quantities of drugs or other contraband across borders. 
In this case, the smugglers had apparently trained the pigeon to fly from one location to another with a small bag of drugs attached to its back. They likely released the pigeon near the border and hoped that it would fly undetected into Kuwait. However, the pigeon's odd behavior and the unusual weight of the bag alerted the customs officials, who were able to intercept the pigeon and seize the drugs. Number 2. Diamonds in the Back of the Phone Diamond smuggling is a major problem around the world, with criminals constantly coming up with new and innovative ways to transport these precious stones. One of the most creative smuggling attempts in recent years occurred in India in 2019. In March of that year, customs officials at Indira Gandhi International Airport in Delhi apprehended two men arriving from Hong Kong. The men had declared nothing suspicious, but the officials became suspicious of their behavior and decided to inspect their baggage. To the officer's surprise, they found a number of high-end mobile phones in the passenger's luggage. However, when they weighed the phones, they noticed that they were abnormally heavy. Upon disassembling the phones, they discovered the real smuggled items, diamond crystals expertly concealed within the phone's back panels. The diamonds, weighing around 500 carats in total, were of high quality and had been cleverly hidden to bypass customs. This audacious smuggling attempt is a testament to the creativity of smugglers and the crucial role played by alert customs officials in safeguarding countries' economic interests and enforcing international trade laws. The discovery of the smuggled diamonds in mobile phones is just one example of the many creative ways that smugglers have tried to transport illegal goods. In recent years, smugglers have been known to hide diamonds in everything from food and electronics to furniture and even human bodies. As long as there is a demand for diamonds, there will be those who are willing to take risks to smuggle them. Number 1. Drugs in Disguise – The Case of the Roasted Chickens In the world of smuggling, creativity is key. Smugglers are constantly coming up with new and innovative ways to transport illegal goods across borders. One of the most creative smuggling attempts in recent years involved drug-stuffed roasted chickens. In 2013, Ghanaian customs officials at the Katoka International Airport intercepted a woman who was attempting to smuggle approximately 3 kilograms of cocaine and two roasted chickens. The chickens had been cooked and stuffed with the drugs, then repacked to look like regular, appetizing meals. The woman's plan was to bypass airport customs by concealing the drugs in an ordinary item that would not arouse suspicion. However, the customs officials were on to her. They noticed that the chickens were abnormally heavy and decided to inspect them further. Upon cutting into the chickens, they found the cocaine hidden inside. The woman was arrested and the drugs were confiscated. This case is a reminder that smugglers will go to great lengths to transport illegal goods. It also highlights the importance of vigilance and thorough inspection by customs officials. By paying attention to even the smallest details, customs officials can often detect smuggling attempts that would otherwise go unnoticed. This case is just one example of the many creative ways that smugglers have tried to transport illegal goods. In recent years, smugglers have been known to hide drugs in everything from food and electronics to furniture and even human bodies. As long as there is a demand for illegal substances, there will be those who are willing to take risks to smuggle them. The story of the drug-stuffed roasted chickens is a reminder that the battle against smuggling is never-ending. As long as there is demand for illegal substances, smugglers will find new and creative ways to transport them. However, by staying vigilant and using all available resources, we can make it more difficult for them to succeed. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, Please don't forget to press like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on more great content.